Hi, welcome to another video. So, recently I showed you what I called the God Tier Budget Setup using GLM 4.7 and Goose. That stack is incredible if you are a student or just want to keep your costs down to basically zero. However, a lot of you commented asking a different question. What if I don't care about the budget? What if I want the absolute best performance, regardless of cost? Well, I listened. I sat down and adapted that same all-in-one workflow. But this time, I maxed out the specs. We are swapping out the budget-friendly engine for the smartest model on the planet. And we are swapping the CLI-based agent for a full graphical workspace. I am calling this the Pro Tier Stack. It combines the reasoning power of Opus 4.5 with the visual control of Verdant. And the best part? We are finally using a model that doesn't just write code. It understands architecture in a way that cheaper models just don't. So, I want to show you exactly how to build this super agent step by step. First, let's talk about the engine, Opus 4.5. I have to be honest, I used to criticize Anthropic heavily for their pricing. The old Opus was $75 per million tokens output. That was basically robbery. But Opus 4.5 has changed the game. It is now $25 for output and only $5 for input. Don't get me wrong, that is still expensive compared to GLM or Flash. But here is the thing. It is the true successor to Sonnet. It doesn't just guess. It plans. It lints. It self-corrects. In my testing, one prompt from Opus 4.5 is worth about 10 prompts from a cheaper model because you don't have to fix its mistakes. So step one, get access to Opus 4.5. This is the brain. Now, step two, the body. We need an interface. Now, I know I previously used Goose, and a lot of people are hyped about Claude Code right now. And yes, running everything from the CLI is cool. I've also mentioned Conductor for Mac users. However, for a true all-in-one setup with a model this expensive, I am choosing Verdant. Why Verdant? Because while Goose and Claude Code are great for quick scripts, Verdant offers a full graphical workspace. It has a proper file tree, it has visual diffs, and crucially, it allows us to manage context much better than a terminal window can. It basically allows you to visualize the changes before you commit them. When you are paying for Opus, you want to see exactly what you are buying before you hit save. So, you download Verdant. You go into the settings, and you configure it to use Opus 4.5 as your primary driver. But we aren't just going to leave it stock. We need to upgrade it, just like we did with the GLM setup. This is where the all-in-one trick comes in. We are going to perform a brain transplant on the agent context. In Verdant, you can set up global rules or memories. I am going to combine two prompts I've shared in previous videos. The King Mode prompt and the front-end design skill. The King Mode prompt forces the model to ultra-think. It stops Opus from rushing. Even though Opus is already smart, this forces it to map out the database schema and API routes before writing a single line of React. The front-end design skill is a markdown file that forbids generic UI. It bans the standard bootstrap look. It forces an editorial or brutalist aesthetic. So, I save both of these into my Verdant workspace instructions. Now, let me show you the secret sauce. Even with Opus, I don't trust AI to guess my colors. This is where TweakCN comes in. Before I start coding, I go to tweakin.com. I pick a theme. Let's go with Doom 64 again, because I really love that high contrast, deep red, and gray-blue retro vibe. And I drag the sliders, until the charts look perfect. I click Copy Code. Now let me show you this full workflow in action. 
I have a new workspace open in Verdant. I paste the CSS variables from TweakCN into my global CSS file. Now, I type this prompt into Verdant. UltraThink. Build a movie tracker app using Next.js and Supabase. I have already defined the theme variables. Use the Doom 64 color scheme. Use the front-end design skill for the component structure. Handle the back-end logic first. I hit Enter. Here is where it gets interesting. Because we are using Opus 4.5, it doesn't just start spitting out code. It pauses. It basically allows you to see its thought process. It breaks down the requirements. Okay, I need a Supabase client. I need a database schema for movies. I need a favorites join table. It creates the plan. Then, watch what happens in the Verdant interface. It creates the files. But unlike other agents that just dump code, Opus 4.5 runs the linter. I literally saw it write a file, notice a TypeScript error regarding an unused variable, and fix it immediately before moving to the next file. That is the oomph I was talking about. Now, look at the result. Because I injected the front-end design skill, it's not using a generic layout. It's using a masonry grid for the movie posters. And because I started with Tweak CN, the colors are locked in. It didn't hallucinate a random blue button. It used the specific Doom Red variable I defined. If you are building a serious project, this stack, Opus for the brains, Verdant for the IDE, and Tweak CN for the style, is unbeatable. You are getting the reasoning capabilities of a senior engineer. You aren't fighting the AI to fix syntax errors. You are just directing the architecture. And yes, it costs a bit more than using the GLM setup. But think about the time you save. I haven't touched a line of boilerplate code in weeks. I've put links to Verdant, the Tweak CN site, and the text files for the King Mode system prompt in the description below. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.